Morning guys, just wanted to show you a little update on the ale. Uh, I picked up a couple belts the other day at uh, Tractor Supply. And the only thing this needs now to be 100% complete is uh, an emblem for the front. Uh, apparently, uh, it was plastic. It was like a red cursive font piece of plastic. Um, and I'd like to give thanks to uh, Scout Crafter for actually uh, doing a little bit of research and discovering that for me. Uh, I had mentioned that I was uh, looking for an emblem. So uh, the hunt continues. There's not really anything on eBay. I've looked several times. But uh, anyways, uh, the belts are half. One is uh, half by 28 and the other is half by 29. And uh, they were $8.99 a piece. Uh, they had better quality belts that were $20 something a piece. But uh, for the amount of use, if any, that this will get, uh, I figure this will hold up. So I snagged a couple of belts and we're good to go. So this is uh, the motor kind of sits back <clears throat> far, but. Uh, in order to bring that in, I'd have to have a much shorter belt, and I think 28 was the shortest that they had. So, in the future, if I find a shorter belt, I'll definitely grab it so I can uh, slide that motor forward a little bit. But, uh, not a big deal if it has to stay where it's at. Um, obviously, it does run beautifully. Um, but So, I had also taken this chuck off and... Took it all apart, cleaned that up. So it's a nice piece. A little dirty from being handled, but you know, it'll clean right up. I don't use it as I said. It's uh, this thing just kind of hangs out. You know, uh, I only use a couple of the drill presses I own, so. Oh, I still got this bad boy back here. That's uh This thing was a bear to move. Uh, the uh The column is solid steel. So, unbelievable how heavy this is. But uh Yeah, the only drill presses I actually use at this point are this uh the little little Duracraft and then the Delta once in a while. But uh, that's going to change. I'm going to put these on the... No, this is a... Duracraft's a nice smaller chill press. Uh, the chuck key that I use is kind of... Eh, kind of iffy. But... It's kind of a pain in the ass to uh, tighten or loosen the chuck. The key's not an exact fit, so... Anyways... I'm chipping away at this fan here. Uh, apparently it just isn't running as, blowing as hard as it used to. And uh, I'm stumped. I've had this thing apart and put back together so many times. I tried every possible wiring configuration uh, imaginable. So, I, uh, never gonna give up. Let me try to open this up so I can show you. So this isn't done, um, pardon the exposed wires there, those are going to be covered. I'm going to take these uh, sleeves right off because I had to trim them back and I'm going to I'm gonna recover those wires. But uh, basically, this is a selector switch. Uh, this little hand knob here is uh, set to the off position which is far left. Uh, the next spot over is high and then medium and low so it's got a three speed fan uh <laughs> this is put back together exactly the same way as it came apart and uh you know i took pictures for reference um uh, 
And uh, I also took this all apart and cleaned the under underside. I cleaned all the metal contact areas. I made sure that the piece was uh, had enough friction to uh, create a good contact. But um, and this whole thing is is just you know in the testing. I had to mangle these wires a ton, so I have to go through and put some. Uh, shrink tubing over the very ends which i will do this will be buttoned up perfectly when all said and done but uh i just put some electrical tape around them now temporarily i do have heat heat shrink tubing and i'll make sure that's all in there right but uh, i'm just stumped i don't know what to do so you got your power cord here comes in Common wires there, hot wires on the right, it's grounded underneath. Uh, and then these other wires, uh, the, the color is no reference uh, in a tr traditional sense. Um, the colors mean something to me just for identifying which wires go to what. Um, basically I had uh, black as A, white as B, and green as C. Uh, but for whatever reason, you know, and I've tried every configuration possible. I've tried every possible configuration in the event that, unlike the event that something was switched up at the motor end, uh, but to no avail. So, here's the actual motor. It's, it's filthy. It just doesn't. It almost looks like it's a little slightly crispy. You see how it's like dark? It's not though. It's not burned up. It's never been burned. It's just really dirty, but I'm looking at my phone as I film this and it on, on film it looks looks like it's crispy, but they're not. Uh, you can see the clean copper that was uh there was wrappings around that. Um I would imagine that you know if uh, the wires were were burnt, that it would have burned even under the wrappings. So whatever uh, darkness is there, it's it's some kind of dirt or oil or something to that effect. But anyways, we have our three wires, and uh, I've labeled them black, green, and white as such. I'm going to do some testings on the wires later when I have some time, but um, I'll tell you, I have so much time. Th this thing has been harder than any power tool, drill press, machine I've ever uh, redid. I mean, I have, I have over 40 hours into this, I would imagine, easily. And I have no idea, it, it just blows my mind. It's put back together the same way I took it apart, and it's just not the same. And I've cleaned everything, I've checked everything, I've, you know, I won't give up, like I said, but this thing is definitely, uh, <laughs> I wish I never, ever, ever agreed to do this, you know, this is just insane. It's consuming me, and I have so many other things I, I need to do for myself and my own projects. Um, I just don't know enough about these things, uh. But, you know, the issue, you know, I, I got it, <clears throat> I got it running, but the issue is that it seems to be in the medium setting running harder than in the high setting. So you turn it to high and it runs and it's, to me, it's fairly, fairly decent of a speed. You put it on medium and it's audibly louder and faster i mean not not by a ton but but still it shouldn't it shouldn't be like that and then low is normal so uh, that's the issue I, I don't know and the owner said that it used to blow a lot harder and uh you know i plugged it in when i got it and tested it but i can't say that i remember it being much stronger um so i'm just going to you know if anyone has any ideas uh i'm all ears and i definitely appreciate it but 
uh, this thing. Never again will I touch one of these. I even went so far as to find one of these on Craigslist. Uh, they, they went 200 bucks for it. You know, I offered, I offered 50. Of course, they didn't take it. But I was even. My point is that I was even. Uh, and it's the same model as this, actually, the same one. Uh, but I was going to go to the extent of buying another one. Um, if for nothing else, for reference, and I figured I could, you know, end up with a fan for myself, uh, in the process, but, uh, you know, they wouldn't budge, uh, they lowered the price to like 190 so they went down 10 bucks on the actual ad, and, uh, they, they've been trying to sell the fan forever, it's so bad that somebody had posted an ad, uh, in the same section bashing the seller saying you know you're insane basically saying two hundred dollars is crazy talk prices in ebay are insane and that uh you, you know they'd be lucky to get 20. so i actually read that and was like oh you never know so i i sent them the offer for uh 50 after that point but got no response i even offered 75 after that and uh no dice so anyways that's where I'm at. And I know that these, uh, I mean, I know for certain that these are in the same exact, these are in the correct spots, I'm positive. Uh, the funny thing is when I took the original pictures and I took this apart, um, one of the head wires doesn't appear in any of the pictures, and it's crazy because it it, it was there, but uh, for whatever reason, one of the three wires is not in the pictures. But you can clearly see there's a wire going here, and then there's a wire going to the uh, hot. So the third wire was kind of a kind of a guess, but I, I narrowed it down and, and figured out that. It does go here, or appear to go here, but something still isn't right. High should be high, medium, medium, and low, low. And uh, apparently it should have more power, so... I'll tell you. Really stumped here, you know? But part of the satisfaction of... Uh, Figuring something out is when it's really hard to do so. You know, you work really hard, and you're, you know, you're frustrated and you want to quit. And you figure it out. And you just feel so, there's, a, there's a satisfaction there. And, and uh, it's happened to me in the past. And I hope it uh, will happen in this case. Because I'm going to keep trying. But luckily they're being patient, you know. But I'm almost to the point where it's like just ridiculous. But. Anywho, appreciate you guys. Just wanted to really wanted to make the video to show you the belts on the uh, Atlas drill press. That was the uh, that was the point of the whole video. But I'm gonna get back on the fan for a little bit before I head in for sleep. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it.